Okay, in this video, we're going to plot a running fix where we have to advance a range, an LOP that is a range, um, slightly different than if it's a bearing. We're going to work on our Block Island Sound training chart, 13205, and we have our triangles and our dividers. We may need a, a calculator. For this scenario, I used um, the work from my previous video. So we have waypoint one and waypoint two plotted here with Latin long. I drew a track line in between the waypoints and the course to steer is 352 degrees true. At 0800, I got the following GPS position and plotted it. I'm slightly to the right of my track, no big deal. My vessel speed will be 15 knots and I'm going to plot the following LOPs. The first LOP at 0806 is off Montauk Point. It's a range of 8.3 nautical miles. So for this, I'm actually going to use my compass, the one with the lead on one side, and spread it out to 8.3 nautical miles. Okay, and then I'm going to put this on the edge of Montauk Point, the land, not the light, because a range would be off the edge of the land. And then I will swing an arc. And that will be my line of position for 0806. Some people get frustrated that it doesn't cross the track line anywhere near where the DR is going to end up when we plot our DR. It's okay if a line of position doesn't cross the track line at all. It just means that you're not on your track line. So don't get too hung up on that. But for, because of the rules of DR, every time I plot a line of position, I have to plot a DR. I'm going six minutes, so I, I'm traveling six minutes from my last known position at eight. So I can use the six minute rule. If my speed is 15 knots, I'll go a tenth of that in six minutes because six minutes is a tenth of an hour. So I'll plot my DR at 1.5 nautical miles from my 0800 position. Okay, now time passes and I wasn't able to get a fix at 0806, but at 0818, I'm able to get another line of position this is a bearing off Southeast Point Light, uh, bearing 053 degrees true. This is Southeast Point Light. And so here I go. I'll draw a very big line so it can be very clear. And this is 0818. Because the rules of DR, every time I plot a line of position, I must plot a DR. DRs are always off your last known position, so I wouldn't DR off of my 806 DR. I have to DR off of my last known position at eight. I can also use the six minute rule to calculate the distance traveled between eight and 818, because 18 minutes is three groups of six minutes. If I travel 1.5 nautical miles in six minutes, I'm gonna travel three of those 1.5 nautical miles in 18 minutes. So I can estimate that I will travel four and a half nautical miles. So my DR from 08 is right there. DRs are always along the track line, even if your last position that you're taking it from isn't. You bend it back to the track line. That's the only place they will ever be. So this is my 818 DR. Now I'm hoping to get an 818 running fix. I will get an 818 running fix. So I would take my first line of position at 0806 and advance it to 818. But because it's not a straight line, I can't just shift it with my triangles. I need to shift an arc. And the only way to shift an arc is to shift the center of that arc. So I'm going to shift Montauk Point forward along with me, advance the point so that I can redraw the arc 
shifted forward. How far am I going to shift Montauk Point forward along my track line? The distance that I think I've traveled. I think I've traveled this far between 806 and 818, the distance between my DR positions. So I need to shift my track line over there and shift Montauk Point up um, this distance. So I'm going to do that now. I could just dial up 352 or I could shift over my track line. It might have been better to dial up 352. I'm going to move this a million times. Okay, again, I'm doing the point, not the light, because my range was off of the end of the point. Okay, and so that is 352. And again, I'll check my distance. That much, I'm going to draw. Uh, first, I should draw a line that direction. That can be a little more clear. Okay, and then I will take and indicate right here. This position, this is fake Montauk Point, okay? You don't have to draw a fake Montauk Point like me, but that's fake Montauk Point. It's shifted up the same direction of my travel, okay, and the same distance I think I traveled. So I drew a parallelogram over here. Now from that fake Montauk Point that's been advanced, I redraw the original line of position. And the original line of position was at 8.3 nautical miles. So I dial up 8.3 nautical miles again. And from fake Montauk point, advanced Montauk point, I redraw this arc's line of position. I then label that line of position 0806-0818 because I've advanced from 06 to 818. And then I identify where the 818 lines of position cross. One of them has been advanced and one of them is actually at 818. They cross here. So this right here is my 0818 RFIX running fix. You'll see that I am significantly off track. I am left of my track line by eight tenths of a mile, all right? And coming up on these buoys over here, that's very noteworthy. I probably will have to adjust course. Hopefully I know why I'm off so far. And for your reference, I'll get the Latin long of this running fix. The latitude is 41 degrees, 04.1 minutes north. And the longitude is 71 degrees, 41.9 minutes west. All right.